What is up, Karatex? In this video, we'll be customizing the Inus Stafford in GTA 5. Here it is right here, $1.272 million. Very beautiful car. I love these older Rolls Royce. They're just beautiful cars, to be honest. Right about $1.3 million. And if we compare it to the uh, the other Inus vehicles, the last one we the last Inus we got was the uh, Windsor Drop. I can find it here. It's been a long time. There it is. $900,000. That was the last one we got. So one other thing I do want to mention is that they actually added... This isn't the only vehicle they added. I'll just go here to the websites here. I know some of you will be like, no, no, they added something else. And so you didn't see anything there. And there's nothing here either. But if we go to the... Elitist Travels website. Well, let's go to Doc Tees first. See, there's nothing there as well. And when you go to Elitist Travels, you can officially buy the Blimp now. So for those of you that were excited for the Blimp, here it is, nine hundred thousand dollars. And I'm just showing you the liveries really quick. And then the last livery would be the one that matches your club. And one interesting thing here, I saw. You can see the little speakers in the rear. That's the same one you use in the mission, but if you guys remember the Atomic Blimp from Story Mode, it doesn't have these little speakers, so that's a difference right there between them. Now, I didn't see the Atomic livery in here. That kind of made me sad. I mean, everybody remembers the Atomic Blimp from Story Mode. It's kind of iconic. I don't know why they didn't let you buy that here. I guess they want to leave it exclusive to Story Mode. Anyways... And really quick guys, if you guys would like a different perspective of customization for this car, my friend Enab underscore 1234 on his YouTube channel, he does post like a type of cinematic with some like examples of customization and all that with no commentary. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link to his video in the description down below. So I already ordered it, here it is right here. Very beautiful car. Look to the interior. So this interior is not new, I know some people think it's new, but it's not, it's the exact same interior from the uh, Roosevelt, see right there, the exact same steering wheel dash, a lot of people in the trailer were saying, oh, this, you know, they saw it in the background and I pointed out it was a new car and they said it was just a Z-Type, I can understand that because of the uh, headlights that stick out and all that, but I mean, this grill is like a hundred percent vertical. The other grill is slanted, and that's how I noticed that there was a big difference there. All right, so this vehicle is primarily based off the 1959 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud II. Very, very beautiful car. They use these a lot for weddings and stuff. Um, if you guys remember GTA San Andreas, they had the Enos Stafford in that game. But in that game, it was the based off the Silver Wraith 2. But when they gave it in GTA 5, it was actually the Cloud 2. Well, that's pretty funny there. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, customize this. What she need then? the sedans class so it's not in the sports classics class it's in the sedans class so keep that in mind when you're buying this armor brakes engine with the standard horn uh, headlights okay so you got factory uh, yellow lights there very cool so highly recommend leaving those nowadays all the cars come with like LEDs already in them so very good option there Liveries, all right, good stuff. Well, that's what interesting. So you got like these flames. Technology and budget permitting. Okay. Got the same ones, but in blue. Yeah, this one called radials. Okay, that's interesting. Like a bunch of circles. Baroque. Okay. Yeah, classical. Okay. 
gothic decor. And you have the rusty Enos. Then you have the O Enos, part of the uh, guest list. If you were on those few weeks before the DLC came out, you'll get this livery for free. This is a uh, very interesting to say the least. Very strange looking. I was told it's um based off the uh the Rolls Race that John Lennon had. He he made like he put something like this on his car. Something like that with the story, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'll throw a picture on screen so you can see the resemblance. You can think it. And then lastly we have oh wait, there's one more after this. So you have for Queen and Country. This one looks very nice. I like this one. This is probably my favorite one so far. It's like a like a splattered British flag. It looks really cool. Very well done. Here is the last one. Make peace, not war. <laughs> That's really fun. Making decisions is stressful. The hippie one. Okay, and that completes all of them. Now, I'm really not too much of a fan of these liveries. I'm just going to paint it um, a color that I like. I'm not going to really go crazy with liveries. I mean, I don't really think Rolls Royces and liveries go hand in hand, to be honest. That's just my go. opinion. Okay. So the color I'm going to be painting this, I'm going to do a metals. I'm just going to be doing a... Um, a brushed aluminum all the way around. I'm pretty sure, like, I mean, look at that gold. That is just gorgeous. I'm sure gold just looks, yeah, gold just looks really good as well. You know what? Let's paint it in gold. I was going to paint it brushed aluminum, Long which looks really good, but let's see gold. Get that Arab money. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is just. Wow. That looks really cool in gold, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the separation of the secondary color. I think it just looks really strange. Even if we were to paint it like a uh a cream or something. How many cars I just, you got in this garage again? Gee, with a cream it looks a little better. But I just I don't like the separation, I think it's really strange. I'm just gonna have it mashed throughout. Okay. Trim color, okay, so you can change the color of the interior. Now keep in mind that the color you paint, uh, your secondary color, will be the uh, trim around your seats. So the little border you have around your seats and the door panels, that line, that will match your secondary color. So keep that in mind. And then this will actually change the main portion of the interior from the inside. Like this now I'm going to be doing like a, uh, like a tan. This one here, like a wood. This one looks good. Oh yeah. Your cosmetics are off. Wood beach brown, and then your crew emblem would be right there on the side of the door on both sides. Okay. Suspension. Definitely gonna lower that. Transmission. Turbo. Wheels. Now, I like these stock wheels a lot. Like, I don't really think changing them is a good idea. Let's see something here. Try to find the uh, the closest ones to the stock ones is probably be these right here, the classic rod, but in, in chrome. So you go here. There you go. So that'd be the closest ones to the stock ones. There it is. Now one thing I want to compare, and I know sometimes the white wall size is different. Let's let's compare them really quick. <clears throat> okay. They seem to be. So the wheels of the. Uh... Yeah, that's interesting. So the wheels seem to be bigger. No rush yeah, custom off. wheels than the stock ones. And then the stock wheel, the white wall goes all the way to the edge of the rim. Whereas on the custom ones, you, know, you still have a black border there. So it's not a complete white wall. That's interesting. Ok. 
Okay, so I, I like the stock ones more, so I'm gonna keep those. I, I kind of like the white wall, how it goes all the way to the inside of the wheel. I like that a little more. Okay. Uh, do tire design. Handsome. So you have the bulletproof tires. You're not gonna get a flat. Obviously, with tire smokes, windows. Probably gonna do a, like, a light smoke. So you could do a limo, but. Oh, limo actually looks really good on this car. Yeah, let's do a limo tint. Don't she look pretty? Well, that's it. So there's no, there's no bumpers or hoods or spoilers or crazy luggage racks. I mean, there's nothing. It's pretty much just colors and liveries. That's it. That's a very unfortunate. I mean, this is 1.3 million dollars. I mean, you'd think there'd be something else. Well. Let's take it to the ground, let's see um, how it drives, how the doors open, uh, and all that stuff, and how it feels. It is fully maxed out, so I'll give you my opinion on how it, how it feels driving around. Okay. Very slow, as you might expect. Sounds very similar to the Roosevelt. So it has a Roosevelt interior. Actually, it doesn't sound it's like a cross between the Roosevelt sound and like the Vapid Ellie, sort of. I'm not a hundred percent sure on the sound. Make sure one of you guys let me know in the comments. I know one of you will. Um, it sounds a little bit like the Roosevelt, actually, the Z-Type. That's what it is. It's the Z-Type. 100%. I couldn't put my finger on it. It's 100% the Z-Type sound. They just, they it's literally just copied and pasted. That's the Z-Type sound. 100%. And this is so classy. Just look, look at it. And they incorporated the uh, body roll. You can see when I take this turn. See how the whole, the whole thing leans to one side. It's very realistic, very well done. To the interior here, cages work well. It's very well done. I mean, I really like this car a lot. I think it was a missed opportunity, in my opinion. They could have done some, uh, some bumpers, maybe like some louvers on the hood, something like that. All they did was liveries. Kind of disappointing in my opinion. But it drives very well. I mean, kind of what do you ex what you would expect from a uh, a Rolls Royce? I kind of wish they would have given it a special sound. This I don't know how why you just copy and paste a Z type sound. That's really interesting. But... All right, let's see if everything opens here. Vehicle doors. Oh my god, look at that. So the hood actually opens, the, the real car actually opens this way. The hood, it opens the same exact way. Very cool, it's like a butterfly style. See the interior there? Look at that, oh my god, beautiful. So it actually has floor mats, that's nice. And the floor mats match your interior. But there's only floor mats from the front, so sorry for passengers, you don't get floor mats for your feet. <laughs> we got the trunk. That's interesting because it kind of like cuts here. But yeah, at least the trunk opens, that's cool. You know, some cars in GTA, they have a trunk but doesn't open, so I mean this adds to the realism. That's what you're looking for. Let's, uh, let's see the lights here. So there you go, those are your regular lights. And then these would be your high beams. So, look at that. All the lights actually work. So thank God Rockstar for making all the lights work on the car. That's very appreciated. <laughs> Not making us pay for a light and it doesn't work. Although this car came with all of them, so they, they better work. I mean, that's just really cool. So yeah, those are your regular ones. and then those are your high beams very well done all in all I mean a really nice car if you like older Rolls Royce vehicles 
like the more classy vehicles, I think this is definitely one to add to your garage. Now putting them in the sedans class, I don't really know how I feel about that. And in that class, I mean, there aren't really any classic sedans. That class is just composed of modern sedans. Like you have the Shafter V12 in there. You have the uh, like the Windsor Drop is in there as well. I mean, it's, it's just the Felon. I mean, it's just an array of modern cars. There aren't really any older ones like this. I think this would have been better in the Sports Classics class. You know, technically it is a sedan, but I mean, what other cars do you see here? Sedan? You have the Buffalo as a sedan. Do they put it in the uh, Sports Class? I mean. I kind of would have preferred this in the uh, Sports Classics class, just my personal opinion. Kind of be there with the Roosevelt and all that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.